Yo, what's up? Welcome to SHQ NFT Gaming and Collectibles. And we are getting ready for Rooney. And I want to make sure you know how to use OpenSea, uh, at least how you're familiar with it if you haven't used it often. And it's uh it's pretty simple, but you know, just kind of walk you through it. It's uh and it's not something I use a lot. I used it a lot a while ago, a year ago or so. Um, but yeah, but it's pretty cool. I, I really like it. Um, it's there's a lot of stuff on there, uh, and things seem so expensive for no reason. Um, but I think Rooney's going to change that. And Rooney drops on Tuesday to whitelist, and then shortly after that, the rest the the mint, the full mint's going live. So uh, let's just check this out real quick. So this is OpenSea. This is an Ethereum NFT marketplace, um, and where you can create them and sell them. And yeah, so. <clears throat> What we want to see here, this is the home page or the whatever you know page you come to when you get logged into this stuff. And you see down here where it says trending, uh, floor price and volume. You know, these are pretty much ranked by volume. So right now, this uh, I don't know, genie human channel by eight <laughs> eight lakh pink. I have no idea. Um <laughs> I'm not an expert on all projects. I'm not an expert on anything. You know, do your own research. But we're just having a good time. You know what I'm saying? So right now, trending, you got this project right here. The floor price right here is 0.03 ETH. So relatively inexpensive. Then this is about half an ETH. And then uh, so some of these, most of these projects are pretty low. Um, and, uh, you know, let me, whatever. Uh, so $500 to mint which is about, I don't know, 0.3 ETH um, right now, something like that. So the mint of of uh, of Rooney is going to be, only this one is it has a higher floor price right now. Um, so the volume is how they're ranked as far as trending. So obviously this one's doing well with 119 ETH. That's a lot of freaking ETH. Um, I mean, it, it's a lot right now. <laughs> last summer, it was crazy. Last winter or last fall, it was nuts. Um, but yeah, so a lot of volume. You can also go here and see the top ones. And the top ones really are, uh, you know, the ones we see often. CryptoPunks right now is, uh, I mean, CryptoPunks. You look at the floor price here. Right? It's not even, I don't, I don't know why there's not one there. Um, Zuki, 11 ETH is the floor. 74.99 ETH for a board ape yacht club. Um, and so a couple of these sold today and the price dropped. Um, the floor definitely dropped in this. It was like 89 or 90 and something yesterday or something like that. I don't know. Um, but that's how it goes. These these are very expensive. So, you know, they, there's a little swing there at the bottom. Um, but yeah, so there you go. So there's the there's the trending, um, and then some new and notable. And I really hope that Rooney is on here. Look at this stuff. Come on. I mean, I mean that's pretty cool. But like. I'm not. I'm not knocking any of the stuff. I'm sure it's fantastic, uh, but uh, it's not as fantastic as as Splinterlands. So, browse by category. So let's say, let's say you're into trading cards. All right, and you go in here and you see these different trading card sets and stuff, and uh, you scroll through here. I really don't know too much about this stuff. Shiba Kari collection. I mean, I some of this stuff must have some utility. Uh, Safe Moon card collection. I mean, card collection doesn't sound like a game. Gates. Now that sounds like a game. Let's see what this is. Let's see. Uh, on top of being playable creatures within the upcoming game. <laughs> you see that? 
upcoming game. I mean, I'm not knocking it. I mean, these are pretty cool, but this is still not Splinterlands. The Splinterlands are going to change this. I mean, look at this. There's really not a whole lot of stuff out there. Now, you can go to Explore and look up all kinds of stuff you want to see. You can do the top. Um, these are the top ones. The ones that uh, that have you got to spend some money if you want one of these. Now, um, now actually, you don't have to spend that much if you want a name server. These are pretty much just uh, buying a domain on Ethereum. <clears throat> um, yeah. Now, for stats, now this is important. For rankings, uh, now check this out. This When Rooney hits, this is where we want to be. Um, not We want to be in this trending. I mean, you saw a little bit on the front, on the homepage there. But if you look at trending, you want to see what's up. Now, when new things hit and they do really well, they'll pop on here. We need we need uh, Rooney to hit this and stay there for a while. So I like how they have the white list and then they have the the regular open list. So it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. And then hopefully the white list spots you get those you can put them on the market and sell. You know you'll make more than you put into it because of the white list. Uh, Got you half off. So um, we need this to be green. I don't think it'll be that green. 20, geez, 2,199 per cent. That's a lot. That means it started at a very low amount and then it popped. So, yeah. Now, let's go to, this is important to look at. Uh, let's go to one of the top ones. Now, when you get your Rooney, it's going to be very important to understand the traits of your NFT. And the traits are, um, here, let's go into, no, I don't, there's too many for that one. Let's see. I'm trying to pick one that only has like, I think Rooney has six traits, if I'm not mistaken. All right, here we go. So let's pick one of these. Um, let's get one with a mouth. I don't know. I mean, I think these <laughs> these kind of look cool. And I, I mean, I wouldn't mind having one to be honest. But let's pick uh, let's pick a fun one here. All right, this guy with a kazoo or something. All right. Now it's only a it's only one hundred and ten thousand dollars. 84 ETH if you have it. <laughs> Just saying. Um, all right. Now, if you go down here, here are the prop. Let's see. Ooh, properties. Now, as you can see, it says background, earring, eyes, fur, hat, mouth. Now, for Rooney, it'll be background. It'll be core. It'll be... Um, arm or whatever torso head hat like i think those are the options um now see how it has hat background so it's very similar mouth um so now what you see here they're all a little bit different uh gold hoop for the earring which is uh only five percent have that trait Blindfolded, only 3% have that, have that trait. Board Kazoo, only 0.74 have that trait. What that means is that uh, that that's a very, very rare trait right there or property. Um, now, Army Green, Black, uh, Black Fur, the Siemens hat, 4%, so pretty low. Blindfold, pretty low. Um, but that's very low. That is, that's very rare. Now, what that means is, here, let's go back. Um, let's find another one. So that one's 110K. Let's find, let's go to the first one. Let's see what the floor is. Whoop. All right, so this one is... All right, so it doesn't even have the extra 
property. So it's missing the earring, right? Or something. Uh, aquamarine background, 13%. 1% have the prom dress. 4% have crazy eyes. <laughs> uh, 23% for the bored mouth and black fur again. So you can see this is much less rare. It doesn't even have this ability, and it's it, that one was 0.74 or something. This best build ability is, or lowest ability is 1% or rarest, or how, however you want to look at it, uh, or property. I keep switching it up. Y'all get the point, though. Uh, we're having a good time. So check this out. 1%, not bad. So that's pretty rare. Um, but the other one will cost you $12,000 more. Now let it, let's scroll up here. And see, uh, let's price from high to low. Actually, let's let's not do that. Let's look at recently sold. There you go. All right, and you can see why some of these sold. As you get up here, some of these are definitely a lot more elaborate than others. Like this one right here. This looks pretty, pretty wild. All right, so background yellow, 13% have this trade. Clothes, leather punk jacket, 2%, so pretty rare. 4% gold stud, that talks about his earring there. Uh, 2%, 4%, 2%, and then 2% uh, for the mouth. Now, he has something what other people don't. Which one is that? Clothes. Oh, no, the other one had that. Which one? Eyes? I don't know. I feel like he has, I mean, obviously he has one more. I guess it's all, of, I don't know. But yeah, you can see here that this is a pretty desired one. It's $128,000 just sold. Um, that's pretty dope. I bet that sold for a lot. 157000 Jeez. So you can see it has robot eyes. It's just a little more rare um, has the hat. I mean, it's really not that rare, but it looks cool. And that's the kicker. If it looks cool, if it looks cooler than the rest, that one has like the logoed hat. And so that one's going to sell for more, you know? Um, and that's the thing about uh, with some of these. Oh, wow. Look at this one. Um, with Rooney, you got to make sure that you're not selling one that is very valuable. For example, um, you know, that one that had 0.47 or whatever, 7.4 on that trait. These that have an additional seventh, tr seventh trait, which uh, like gold, I guess, would be a seventh trait for uh, or ability or whatever for um, Rooney. But let's see. Let's go to let's price high to low. Let's see what some of the high ones are. Now that is psychedelic. Let's see what this is. Holy moly. It's a lot. <laughs> 4.3 million. So Laurel Wreath, the hat, 0.72. So very rare. And then Solid gold, 0.46. So only less than half of a percent of all 10,000 uh, board apes have the gold. And then on top of it, on top of it all, the clothes are the bandolier, which is a pretty sweet little um, compliment. I mean, the green, I mean, it's, that's a cool one. I wouldn't pay four point. <laughs> three eight million dollars for that but oh look at that one that's pretty cool so these these are pretty low oh 0.9 so this one isn't as rare but again it looks pretty cool the gold teeth ears pretty dope is it 4.3 million dollars though no, not at all. Not at all. Ooh, that's, that's pretty cool. I tell you, man. So there you go. 
So when you get into OpenSea, you want to make sure you check these abilities or properties. Now, this one only has four, but one of them is the 0.91. That's very rare. Other than that, but it's the grin, the gold grill. So it could be something like the pickle. Thing. I mean, other than that, that's about as the eyes are bloodshot. But other than that, that's a pretty boring one. But that, that one trait makes that thing look sweet. Now, with Rooney, it's a little bit different because Rooney is, uh, what's really cool about Rooney is that um, there's so many different variations that are in there. And so the rarities in the, of the, of the, of all of this is, is kind of going to get blurred, I think, a little. Some are definitely going to be rarer than others. So if you get one that's rare, do not place it at floor. Place it higher uh, than floor, at least 10, 20% higher if it's pretty rare. Um, if you have one that is, uh, that is very unique, um, but not necessarily rare, like a good combination of, you know, some not so rare things, then that might be a really cool thing to, um, you know, to to hold on to or set it at a higher price. Now, um, just most importantly, though, you want to just get something you like. Make sure it's something that you enjoy, and um, and you want to represent you in the game. So, I'm pretty excited for it. So, I hope that helped. A little walkthrough, open C. Make sure you you check on those properties because when you get in the game and you want to really dive into some things, and let's say you you want to buy uh, in the marketplace, you want to look at those. You want to make sure you're buying one that has a very rare abilities or properties at floor. So if you're looking through these things, you want to find one that has. Uh, you know, like the 0 0.04, which is like a pickle or something, or 0.4 is a pickle, or a point, you know, or 1% hat, where, you know, you're in the 1% hat or something. I don't know. Just make sure that it's it's rare, and, um, and if you do have one that's rare, you're looking to sell it. Do not put it at floor price. Put it above floor because uh, it is unique, and that's the differential be between these or the different properties and and most importantly how it looks and how it looks to you keep the ones you want find the one you want find the one you want to represent you if you're just minting it taking the luck of the draw i still don't think you're going to miss out these things are pretty awesome so i hope you hope you have a good uh good mint let me know if this helped in the chat if you have questions go ahead and put them in the chat or in the comments and i will answer them um there you go thank you have a great day peace for watching here's a couple of videos for you to check out and of course hit that like button and that subscribe button right next to it we appreciate you all we're having a good time